Coach, let's talk about some programs that don't always get the best players, right? There, there's, a, there's a bunch of them. And they have to play each other. And success for them is who wins those matchup games. You've coached Ohio State, you've coached the Florida, but you also coached the Bowling Green, where you had the same talent as the opponent. How do those teams get an edge? Well, the reality in college football, there's very little parity. When you really think about it, when I coached at Bowling Green, we had to raise money for training table and all. You're coaching Ohio State, you get whatever you need. So just think about when you coached at Indiana or Vanderbilt, I was at Bowling Green, you would lay awake at night and say, how do I get that advantage? You know, there's a schematic advantage. You see Rutgers doing a great right. job in offense right now. They're doing an equalizer offense. How does a service academy play Notre Dame every year? Sometimes right. they win. Schematic advantage is a big part of it. No doubt. So Rutgers is doing a great job on offense. They do it the spread offense. That's an equalizer. They run the quarterback. That's an equalizer. Now let's go to some other thoughts. I had a great conversation with Greg Shano. Rutgers is 2-0. Two big wins. Conference win against Northwestern and against a good Temple team. And I was talking to him, and he said, made a comment to me. It's a second stint at Rutgers. His whole focus now is on finding that edge. What's the edge? If I'm at, at Ohio State, you know what my edge is? I'm going to get Nick right. Bosa and Chase Young right. and a bunch of other great players. He's at Rutgers. He's got quality players. He's got a heck of a quarterback right now. But he has to find that edge in the program. He's come up with three things. Number one is the ball, which is the most important thing in football. If they take care of the ball in his mind and his players' mind, they won't lose. Right now, they're plus two in the turnover ratio, and they're 2-0. and oh. The second one is swarm. They want to out-effort everybody. He feels that they will not go in a game this year, that that team on the other sideline will outplay them. You watch him play right now, and there's effort all over the right. place. He considers himself the ball coach, the swarm coach, and then number three, chop. That's been around Rutgers for quite a while. That's Greg's word that he uses. But chop means this. He trains his players to focus on the moment. In the game of football, one of the worst things you can do is be thinking about something that happened before. A turnover, a mistake, that paralyzes the player. The second thing you don't want to do is worry about the future. What's happening next? Why am I not getting the ball? Live in the moment. Play as hard as you possibly can in the moment. That's their edge. The ball, swarm or effort, and live in the moment. You know, I, I believe other coaches probably do some version of that, but I've seen Greg do it. It's not only that he does it, but he's a fanatic about it. And that's what makes it work. And they're 2-0. and oh, And you know what? You look at his first stint at Rutgers, it was success. This is going to be success as well.